Welcome back guys to some more Riders of Icarus Semi Mong here as per usual with uh, Itchy Nose. But guys, today we're going to be going through the Gilded Benthic, another crested mount. And then we're so close to finishing off the Seat of Hakanus. And of course, we've got to get the Coral Hawk. But to get the Gilded Benthic, if you click on him and his little book, it says you'll need a powerful Sea Relic. And this can drop from the Great Titan Atius or the Dragon Atadran. Now... But pretty much, I've got the relic, okay? As you can see, I've got Ocean's Cool, but I've not got the recipe. And this is because the recipe drops from Atius. So if I show with back on my map, Atius, the raid guy up here. Or the dragon boss called Dragon Atadren, who I'm pretty sure is in Vort Zenon. Correct me if I'm wrong. And, oh my god, seriously itchy nose. But that's how you get the recipe. Now... I haven't got the recipe. If you go into Barter Crafting, you can see I haven't got it. You actually get a Ocean's Call for defeating Atius. So the only reason you'd need to go back and either defeat Atius to get the recipe or to defeat the dragon to get the recipe is if your first Ocean's Call has failed. Because obviously you get a free Ocean's Call. If you're able to tame the Gilded Benthic, you won't necessarily need to go back and get the recipe whatsoever. It's only if you fail actually taming the Gilded Benthic first of all is then you need the recipe. So yeah, that's how you actually pretty get it. That's how much you pretty get it. That's how much you, that's pretty much how you get it. Just my English, every time, I, every time there's no excuse anymore. But that's how you get it. Either raid Atius, raid the dragon veteran. But if you're max level, you're gonna have, you're going to have gone to raid Atius at least once, whether it be to get the Agnus recipe, just to see what it's like. I don't know. Like I went there last night, Got Ocean's Cool, we killed Atius, but no loot dropped, so the recipe for Agnes did not drop. So I was like, ugh. But guys, once you've gotten Ocean's Cool, either by defeating Atius or defeating the dragon to get the recipe and making it. By the way, I don't know the recipe materials, as I've obviously not got it. But to be sure to be like, check out, just like, around this area, or either be like 10 seconds before, 10 seconds after, a GFX of like, all the material requirements, that's it, ingredients. And once you've got all of that, just come to the top right island in the Sea of Hakanus. Now, apparently, there's one gilded Benthic always circling this island. And once again, he is a level 25 elite familiar. So we're going to be lowering his HP. And I, I've not been including this in most of my videos. If you do lower the HP of enemies, familiars, whatever you're trying to tame, it will help you taming them out pretty much. And is he not here? Do we have to change altitudes? I'm pretty sure we'll have to change altitudes. Guys, I'll be back in just a second. Once I've found out where he is, I'm going to check down and I'm going to go check up. But someone may have already tamed him and we might have to wait for the respawn. There he is. So he's not further down. He is just slightly up. And, um, okay. Here, hi, friend. Let's try and lower his health just a little bit. Use our wombo combo crossbow i'm just using the standard crossbow attack i'm gonna try and bring him down to slightly below half health i don't like to get too low just in case i accidentally fire that last shot and then bam like that's it you've killed the elite familiar you want to tame you have to oh my god someone just successfully tamed agnes gg friend gg if the recipe from atius dropped and then I would be trying to do that as well. And if you're watching this video and wondering why I'm not getting Agnes or Garm, trust me, I'm trying to get into the Atius raid every single day. I'm trying to get raids for Garm every single day. And it's just not happening. It's just not happening. But his health is now lower, so I'm going to go in and space attempt to tame him. Right, we're on. Now we've just got to hopefully get the success we need. Ah, oh, and it starts off beautifully. Now the Gilded Benthic obviously looks kind of different to every other flying mount in the game and we're currently stuck in a rock oh no all right at least we've got him at least it's a guaranteed tame but if we go up and here we go look at this this is one of the most unique mounts in the game honestly look at it i remember when the game first came out it was my first day and i didn't get my founders pack items this is what i got i got a gilded benthic and I got a Linux, and obviously I had no idea what they were at the time. I didn't know this was like one of the hardest mounts to get. Obviously, par Agnes, par Garm. And I didn't know the Linux was, once again, another elite Sea of Hakanus mount. I just thought they were derpy, derpy looking mounts. But honestly, once you got a bit of context to it, you know it's an endgame mount, and you know how hard it is to get. 
it does put it into perspective and he just looks really weird i mean look at the little the little feather what are, what are they called whiskers yeah like a cat's whiskers coming off his nose he's only got two but that's gilded benefit guys up close and personal if we look at his altitude and his stats that's even higher than windrunner he can outgo the region max currently he's a healing type pet i guess so Increases evasion, that would be great for a priest, especially for a solo priest, if you want to get as much dodgy hits, like you're trying to dodge hits, increase your invasion, increase it, but what else is there, he's got a, he's got a bit of defense, he's a bit more mixtured than the other ones, you see like the other one's 500, uh, he's going to get up there, once he's a high level, he'll have a lot more defense, and obviously a lot more DPS, but currently, he is my highest altitude mount, so I'm going to take him for a spin, and yeah, he goes kind of fast. Guys, if you're going to go get a Gilded Benefit for yourself, be sure to leave that like down below. If there's any other mounts you want us to get before the update comes out, be sure to comment them down below. And until next time, guys, thanks for all the support on Icarus videos. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Look at its nose. It's got literally, it's literally his nose is pulsating.